Hey everybody, Chris Steele here at Steel Frags, and tonight we are reviewing Happiness Ooh from Fragrance World. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers, and thank you, really appreciate the returning subscribers, checking out the videos, helping the channel. Help me help you make the world a better smelling place, and the way we do that is by liking and subbing. You can also leave a comment too if you'd like. I'm not going to go Hollywood on you. I try to get to the comments as soon as I can and answer any questions or respond. So this is a really, really, really nice fragrance. And it doesn't really get talked about a whole lot. Um, I, I've seen maybe a handful of reviewers talk about Happiness Ooh from Fragrance World. Um, this is a very cool and unique scent profile. It also smells really good. Um, another interesting fact about it is it is an extrait de parfum. So it's very high oil concentration. Now let's get into the notes real quick. All right, happiness oud. In the top, we have bergamot and ginger. In the middle, we have licorice, oud, and cedar. And in the base, we have vanilla, musk, and herbal notes. It's classified as an amber woody. It's unisex. Um, and it doesn't, you don't get some of these notes that they have in here. Like for instance, um, as far as licorice goes, not too sure about uh, where the licorice is coming from. Um, I'm going to spray this on skin to revisit it. Get the opening, the mint, and the dry down. So, let's spray here. Very good atomizer. Very strong fragrance. Mm, smells good. So you get bergamot and ginger. You do get those. But it's the, the best way to describe the bergamot and the ginger is the ginger is spicy. The bergamot is fruity and sweet. It's not a, it's not a real fresh citrusy bergamot, but it's more of a fruity, fruitier, sweeter take on bergamot. Bergamot is a fruit, so that makes sense. Okay, I think I might get what they mean by licorice. But honestly, it it's, it's more or it's more or less if you've ever drank ginger ale or even eaten a piece of ginger or if you've ever eaten sushi, sometimes I have those uh those little ginger things you put on your sushi it has that kind of spice to it. And I guess it can be perceived as licorice because it is slightly sour, slightly sour spicy. But the key players in this um, are the vanilla, the musk, the ginger, and the bergamot. There's oud and cedar, they say. Um, all right, so all that sounds great, right? But what the hell is he really talking about? That's what you're asking. You're saying... You know, there's this dude, he's talking to me, he's trying to trying to explain a smell, an aroma, and I don't know what he's talking about. I'm going to tell you what this smells like. Smells like a creamsicle. I've heard a uh, few other reviewers describe it that way, and I was a little skeptical. But you know what I did? I went out and I bought the fragrance and I saw for myself. And I must say, it is true to this nature. It smells like a creamsicle. If you've ever had a creamsicle off the ice cream truck, it's like an ice cream with orange of uh, kind of, if you've ever had a creamsicle, you know, I'm talking about that sweet orange mixing with the creaminess of the, the ice cream in the middle of it. It's just, it's really nice. And um, as it dries down, it gets spicier. You get more ginger. Um, and you get a little bit of cedar. The cedar is there. The cedar is very nice. It's not a pungent wood smell. I'm not really big on the real super duper woody smells. I like a rich oud, but I typically like oud when it's coupled with some kind of a, when it's tempered with some kind of sweetness or when there's an addition of spiciness or something like that. I just, I'm not a real straight just straight out the bottle wood it it reminds me of um 
if you've ever had a piece a older piece of clothing and it like sat in like for instance these dressers i have here if you've had an older piece of clothing that's just been sitting at the bottom of a dresser and then you pull it out and it has that like wood smell or like the smell of like home depot not a big fan of that smell but nonetheless you don't have to worry about that with this this spicy ginger extremely sweet slight woodiness as far as oud in this the oud is undetectable it, it, the oud may be in the name but it's not in the fragrance and that is one thing that you can take to the bank with most middle eastern houses they will put oud on any they will put the name oud on anything it could be a blue it could be a blue fougere fragrance and they will call it a uh, midnight oud something you know midnight oud chariot or something like that it's something that just sounds real dark and earthy this is nothing like that it does have a, a very it kind of reminds me now don't get this twisted now i'm not saying that this is a clone or this is what they were going for because what they were actually going for with this i believe it was it's one of the initials i think it's like initio ood for happiness or something like that I'm not gonna get into all that um I can't, I can't afford an issue, so I can't afford to talk about them really that much. I will talk about Fragrance World, though. Um, but it, it reminds me of some. Don't get this twisted now. It reminds me of Clinique Happy. It has that vibe. It does not, it's not a clone of that. It's not an inspiration of that. But there are similarities to the two, for one. There's a, I know it's not listed in the notes, but this gives you an orange vibe with the ginger and the bergamot. It gives you like one, of, like an orange creamsicle vibe. Um, like you get kind of that same vibe, that bright, uplifting orange smell and Clinique Happy. If you've, if you've ever smelled that one, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get into performance and, uh, and all that jazz. So this does perform very well uh to give you a number i would say that this will last you a good six to eight hours total longevity that means even as a skin set um i have had my bottle sitting for a little while so it has gotten a little stronger you got to remember this is an extra de parfum so the longer this one sits, it will get stronger over time because of the high oil concentration. Um, and I get, you know, a solid eight to six. And the projection on this is very, very good. It's um, it's not a beast mode projector, but it, you definitely will be smelled. It's about a two foot, two foot projection bubble for the first hour and a half to two hours. Um, also... Siage. Now that's where this one shines. Siage is amazing on this. You're gonna have a nice scent trail for at least the first two hours, and then it dies down closer to a skin set. All right, scenarios and all that. Scenarios. This is a very very casual fragrance. Would you wear something like this at work? Maybe it's a possibility. Uh, I don't think you're going to get written up or fired or offend anyone, but you always want to err on the side of caution when it comes to your place of employment. Um, that being said, I guess you could wear this to the office. I, I, I wouldn't say that this is, uh, that this is, you know, banned from the office, you could wear something like this to office, but I could think of like 10 other places where you could wear it and it'll be more appropriate. For instance, if you're going out, um, if you're going out and about maybe to the grocery store or you're going out and about uh, to a fair or to a live event, or even if you were just going out to visit some friends or if you were going to a party or if you were going to a cookout or if you were doing anything where it was going to be casual, but you wanted to really smell good and make a good impression. And you wanted something that was uplifting, 
bright, sweet, but not like everything else, then this will be a good pick. Very good pick. Niche quality, very much niche quality. And what I mean by that, it doesn't necessarily mean that it costs a billion dollars to be, have niche quality. It means that it's a unique scent profile. It is high concentration of oil. It is good quality and uh, excellent presentation. This had a really nice presentation. The only problem is when I first got this, I went to slide it because it's one of those boxes to slide out. I went to slide it out. It would not go. It was it was stuck. And I ended up just going straight He-Man and uh, busting the entire side of the box out. So the box is dead. I usually keep my box, my uh, fragrances in my boxes. But yeah, that's your scenarios. Um, as far as a date, um, day date for sure. This will definitely work on a day day. Um, at night, maybe not so much. Okay, let's get into seasons now. Seasons for this. This could technically be a year-round scent because it's very uplifting. It's bright. Um, I would say, though, if you're going to wear this in the summer, you might want to limit your sprays as it may become cloying because of the sweetness that is in there. Um, but other than that, you can rock this fall. You can rock this spring. Maybe not the winter. There's a lot of other fragrances you could reach for in the winter. Um, and then in the summer, you could rock this, but I would rock this on a cooler summer, summer day and reserve your fresher fragrances for those hotter days. That's just me. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in with me again. Um, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate the love. And if you're not a part of the family yet, help me help you make the world a better smelling place. And the way we do that is by liking, subbing, commenting, and sharing our experiences with fragrance. As you guys know, until next time, we will get at you in the next one. Peace.